Here's an example of another soil profile in the lab. This one is a fairly easy one to ID. There's a lot of diagnostic layers here that are very distinctive. I've got my field notes. I always start by drawing a rectangle in my field notes and writing. So I've got an LFH layer at the top and it's quite fibrous. There's not a lot of humic um, accumulation. And if I measure it, we've got probably about eight centimeters, which is decent. So eight centimeters of LFH. And then if I start at zero there, we start to look for horizons change either by color or texture is when we demark a new horizon. So if we have a distinctive uh, texture change or a distinctive color change, we can delineate a horizon. So here, if I put my organic layer here, and I could feel the difference, the sandy layer of this AH layer feels different than the hummus of the organic layer. And then there's a distinctive color change here. So I can say that that is an AH layer. And from zero to nine centimeters is my AH layer. And then I easily have a nice demarking line there. So from, that's 12 more centimeters. And I measure it 21. So from nine to 21, I have an AE layer. And it's like really distinctive. There's a dark, and I can like back in the lab, I can look at a Munsell color chart and I can really say exactly what color that is. But right now I've got a fairly white layer, a pretty dark layer, and then I have a red layer. I'm using pencils to delineate my horizons, but you could use anything. Jeff Deck likes to use golf tees, something that helps you measure out. So this is definitely my BF layer. So remember the A layer has a lot of pedogenic processes and often a lot of organic material mixing in with it. The B layer, you're starting to see fewer pedogenic processes. This looks more like sand, but it has been chemically altered. The iron is oxidized, so that's what the F stands for. So I've got an extra 15 centimeters, so 21 plus 15. 36 centimeters, it's my BF. And then I'm coming down into another layer here. So this is probably another B layer, not a C layer. I probably have another C layer underneath if I kept going. And in fact, here's another sample. And in this one, you can see that they did keep going and they hit a white glade layer at the bottom. So this layer has seen some pedogenic processes, not as much as this layer, but they have a, another layer down below here. So you've probably got a B F layer, a B or a B C layer, and then a proper C layer is what you have here and maybe you would interpret that in the other one. But these are both podzils from the same forest, and you can see the similarities, but you can also see the differences that slightly different sampling. And this is why we have two different profiles. These are two different pedons from the same soil series. Each pedon looks slightly different. Each profile looks slightly different. They're not all identical. And again, back at the lab, I would take samples of each one of these horizons. I'd be able to get the texture of them all. 
and be able to properly ID the colors of each of them and maybe look at some of the structure. On this one, you can see this bottom one has some interesting structural systems that the other layers don't have. This is much sandier. There are some rocks in here. Podzel, very common in the North Bay area.